What's good, everybody? Just got off work. Hopefully, y'all have a great weekend. Uh, must talk to y'all about this topic. It's, it's got to be touched on. Um, you know, I seen something on Facebook um, <clears throat> that said something about if I'm single by a certain age or something, something's wrong with me or it's got to be me. And not only did I see that on Facebook, I've also heard, I ain't going to say heard, yeah, I, I hear the streets talking. You know, you if you listen to the world and listen to people, you learn a lot of things, right? So a lot of people are going to tell you or make you feel like, even, even your own demons, are going to make you feel like you're single because something is wrong with you, right? And I just, I just want to touch on how society makes that a deception because that's what it is. I feel like um, even everybody that's in a relationship right now, none of those people are perfect. None of them. And some of them actually probably should be single if you go by the rules of the book. I say this all the time. Like if a man is in another woman's inbox trying to fuck with her, he should be single by default, right? But he's not because either his girlfriend don't know or she's not going to leave him. But that does not mean that he's qualified as being a lover he's in some other woman's inbox but he's not single so does that mean that uh, um, does that mean that he's some special lover or is it because the woman he's with is willing to put up with it you gotta ask yourself these things you also gotta ask yourself this a lot of people have standards that are single not everybody but some people have standards right whether they're realistic standards, unrealistic standards, don't matter. Some people have standards. Some people are not just going to get in a relationship with any and everybody. How you see some of these women and men always in a relationship with somebody else. and some, No, everybody don't do that. Some people actually wait and try to find somebody they actually like. All I'm saying to a lot of people is, let people deceive you and make you think that something is wrong with you because of a status. A relationship status don't determine who you are as a person, man. Right? It just doesn't. If you fall into that trap, you, you're more than likely probably going to be a person who picks a certain person because you think it validates you or, or enhances you somehow as a person. You see that a lot all the time. I'm only going to pick the popular guy because that that makes me the popular woman it's just dumb it, it don't mean shit is what it don't mean man like just understand that the world is lost when it comes to dating and if you're not careful and you don't analyze and do your research and study you'll be lost too you know what i'm saying you're going to be lost just like the whole entire world is man As a woman, I understand why a lot of women think this way. Because the man has to ask the woman to marry her, him or, or usually ask her for a relationship. I get that part as a woman. You know what I'm saying? So you're going to think, oh, something's wrong with me because no guy won't marry me or whatever. A lot of it when it comes to a woman is this. All she got to do, some of it's luck. Some of it's luck. And I'm going to explain what, what I mean by luck. Some women just got lucky that they liked that's the key word they liked a guy that actually liked them that was a good dude that don't want to do them wrong not all of them because some of them are with a guy that's acting like he likes her or maybe he does like her but he wants his cake and eat it too too so you know what i'm saying or he could he not he might not be doing what he's supposed to do he could be making her unhappy and they still married though it's just like people act like this marriage thing is a badge of honor like like anybody can get married any it's just like having a kid right now i can go get married to a woman if i really wanted to if i really say hey i'm this i'm that I, i'm not a fact i would just find a woman that i know in life like and just go marry her 
I could do that right now if I really want. I'm pretty damn sure. I'm confident I could do that. Or I could say, hey, you want to have my kid? I'm sure a woman would. Right? But just because I have a kid, what does that mean? Does that make me a dad? So in other words, just because I have a, just because you, me, whoever have a relationship, that doesn't make you a, a lover, man. And just because you don't have one, it don't mean nothing either. People always act like this this relationship shit versus single shit validates them to be a better lover or whatever. But sometimes the person single is actually the better lover because they they're, they they are actually taking their time to pick the lover. They're actually strong enough to be alone. They actually don't need somebody. They don't need a relationship, you know what I mean? Like needs a relationship to get by and all these other things. It depends on what qualities you're looking for. Now, of course, I ain't gonna cap. Like, you could, you always have room for improvement. I'm sure you wasn't perfect. I'm sure you did some shit that you're single for, but mainly it's because you didn't pick the right person. You gotta, y'all gotta, you gotta have the right person to work with because no relationship is perfect. You're gonna go through some shit. You're gonna argue and shit like that. It's gonna happen, though. But if you're with the right person, it's easier. It, y'all make it through because it's the right person. Y'all work together. You see what I'm saying? Even if you're mad at each other, you know how to, um, how can I explain this? You can be mad at each other, but that person still knows not to like completely disrespect you or something like that. You still have their respect. They still appreciate you. So therefore y'all rebound from that. If it's the wrong person, you do one thing wrong and it's over with. For example, if a woman don't really like you like that, Anything you do wrong, you be on a date, right? A woman really don't like you like that, I'm just gonna say a date. Motherfucker, uh, chew this food wrong. She, she don't like you, you fucked up already. She don't wanna fuck with you. But let it be a guy she really like. This motherfucker can do damn near anything wrong, everything wrong, and she'll still try to fuck with him. For example, just like I said earlier with the men who really should be single, but they're not. They got girlfriends, but they still talk to other women. Right? And then women put up with it. He's with the right woman. She's not, though. He's with the right woman. Why? Because that woman's still down for him. She's still trying to make it work. But he's not the right one. That's the problem. You see what I mean? That happens a lot where you have one person with a right person. A person that love the fucking ground they walk on. Right? But they're not doing the return. So it's still not right. Somebody's still not happy. Therefore, the relationship is not right. You know, but the only reason why it's lasting or y'all you know, on the outside looking in thinking they lasting for 20 years or 10 years or whatever because one of them is uh, sacrificing or whatever. Or you can have both of them doing dirt. You know what I mean? And you look, you be like, they've been together for 20 years. They, they, um, they a real relationship. They got real love. Man, you don't know what the hell's going on behind closed doors. This is what I mean, man. Like, Fuck the title. I don't, I don't understand why people are so caught up on this fucking title shit. This, this relationship or marriage title. I get the point of having a relationship. I'm not against that or marriage. I get it. But I don't care about the title. Not in the way of y'all taking it wrong. Like he don't, he just said he don't care about marriage. No. Like the, the title means the least to me. It's all about the relationship. Because if the relationship is good, it's our, you don't even have to be married yet for it to be basically marriage material, relationship. The title don't determine if the fucking relationship is marriage material or not. And it don't determine if you are. It don't, man. But people are going to continue to tell y'all that, uh, oh, this guy's single or this girl's single. Something's wrong with her. Something's wrong with him. And the other people that have got boyfriends or girlfriends every fucking five seconds. They 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 the so they so great. They the, just the best ever. It's bullshit, man. It's not true, man. It just looks and seems that way. And I'm gonna tell you right now, having standards, how you out here looking like nobody wants you. It is what it is. That don't mean it's true though. You have standards. Look at the dating market. You know, I hear it a lot from uh, you know, when it comes to women, like oh she's uh she's pretty and single. Something must be wrong with her. Nah, maybe maybe the the people she's dealing with is a problem or maybe it's just she has standards or whatever who knows 
It's just crazy, man. All I know is I see a lot of motherfuckers in relationship not happy. And I'm happy. And I'm not in a relationship, but I'm happy. So you 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 be the judge of it. I'm not anti-relationship either. I'm just telling you. Like I feel like it would be better. I feel like a relate being happy in a relationship is happier or better than being happy single, right? Because you're actually sharing that happiness with somebody. I'm not even going to cap on that. But I'd rather be happy single than in a relationship and not happy. Period. Point. No, no other way around it. So here's a good example. I got a girlfriend, but she's fucking other men behind my back. Which one's better? Being single and happy or being in a relationship because the world says, ooh, now he looks special. You know, that's why a lot of women don't want to mess with a man unless he's talking to a bunch of women. But guess what happens? What usually happens to them? It's the wrong guy, ain't it? It's sad that women actually think that, well, um, he's not a take, or I forget what they call it, taken or some shit like that. Not necessarily taken, but uh, it's like when a man is chosen by a lot of people, they don't want to fuck with a guy that's just living his life, steering clear of the hoes. I don't want to deal with the hoes, man. I just want women who are serious, you know what I mean? Which is not very many, right? So, you know, a lot of women look at down on that guy and think something's wrong with the guy. But really, the guy has standards. Or when it comes to women, you know, men will look down on her and say she's stuck up or something. But really, she just has standards, man. Of course, the cop's gonna be there. Look at that motherfucker, man. He waiting. Trying to get somebody, man. I never speed, y'all always do the speed limit because you never know, they be everywhere, man. The moment you think they ain't there, bam, they right there, they always there. And even worse come to worse, even if you end up single for the rest of your life, that don't determine who you gonna be as a person. You do not need a fucking person to feel happy or be a great person, except for yourself and God, that's it. I don't understand, man. And a lot of people in relationships, they're not going to make it. So all these, I'm in a relationship and you're not, I'm better than you. A lot of them people ain't going to make it. They're going to, uh, if I'm not in a relationship by by 30 or 50 or something, then something's wrong with me. A lot of people about to get divorced at 30 or 50. They about to, they on their way to get divorced. I don't know about y'all. I don't want divorce. So this, I take this shit serious. So you, you go ahead and make your project, rush your project. I'm gonna take my time with mine. You know what I mean? And learn everything. And just trust God. That's what you should do. That's what everybody should do. Cause you're gonna lose if you do it. If you try to do this shit on your own, you're gonna lose, man. You try to do this marriage thing on your own and pick the right person without trying to really, really try to let God uh, work with you so you'll uh, learn how to like the right person and become the right person, you're gonna lose. A lot of people just getting married in relationships just cause. They don't even have, they don't even know why they doing it. Just so they can say they got somebody. I'm cool on that, man. I've been there and done that shit. You learn. You learn when you, uh, from your mistakes and shit like that. All I know is this. No matter how good of a person I am, right? And, and even, even my bad, right? No matter what, no matter how good, let's just say the good though. Or you, me, you, whoever. No matter how good of a person you are, if you pick the wrong person, it's still not going to work. You're still going to end up single. So there's that single shit again that everybody claims determines if you're a good, great person or not. Nah, it don't matter. It don't matter because that single relationship shit, relationship involves two people. Not just you, two people. So if you pick the wrong one, it doesn't matter, man. And that's what y'all not getting, man. Y'all too worried about single, man. It makes y'all feel like something's wrong with you or you're going to die and all this other shit, man. Stop, man. Live your life, man. Live your life, man. Get in a relationship with you and a relationship with God. Try that one. Try that. I bet you won't be worried about who you in a relationship with. And I bet you won't. I bet you won't feel like, uh, oh, that, that girl or this guy is better than me because they got a girlfriend and I don't. You don't know why that person picked them. You you have no idea. 
know what I'm saying? You don't know why people pick people. So yeah, some people might have a, a wife or, or or a girl, a husband or this or that, but you don't know why they got together. You're just on the outside looking in. They might have got together for the wrong reasons. You don't even have no idea. You sitting back depressed, talking about nobody wants you. You see the couple walking, and now you feel some type of way. You don't know why they're together. You don't know if they're happy. You know what I'm saying? None of that. That's why I keep trying to tell y'all, man. You don't know. One thing I do know, though, love yourself, man. And I'm not saying that in a selfish way because, you know, you got kids and stuff. You're supposed to love them. You know what I'm saying? You got family. But when I say love yourself, I mean, like, in the way of where you don't feel like, oh, well, somebody doesn't like me. I, I'm I'm not happy with myself. Or if I'm not in a relationship, I'm not happy with myself. Or or this per I'm ugly and this and that. All this dumb ass shit, man. That's what I mean by it. When I say love yourself, this is what I mean by that. You know what I mean? All that shit, the, the, all those thoughts that the devil be putting in people's heads, making them feel like they're nothing, man. Not a good thing. You know, but also the devil also can make you feel like um, boastful too. So you have to be humble. You have to be right. At, you know what I mean? You got to ride away, basically. Can't be too much high on yourself. You're supposed to think you're the best woman or man in the world, no doubt about it. But, you know, you know, humbly, you know, and at the same time, you can't be like, oh, man, no, I'm no good. Nobody wants me and this and this. But do you have room for improvement? Yes. Are you single for uh, because something's wrong with you? Yeah. But not the way that y'all thinking. In the way of you might have picked the wrong person. Your choice in a woman or man could need, needs improvement. Things like that. But just to say that, oh, well, I'm single, so I'm just a piece of shit. And the people who are in relationships aren't. Nah, that's bullshit. You know it and I know it. Right now, I can get in a relationship right now with any, not anybody, but I'm I'm pretty damn sure I can get in a relationship with somebody. I don't know if the person's right or wrong or whatever the case. That's not the point. The point is I don't have to be single if I don't want to be. You know what I mean? And I'm sure everybody else single for a reason. I'm pretty damn sure everybody's single for a reason. It might be a good reason. It could be a bad reason. I don't know. <clears throat> I'm not arguing the reason. I, the point is, just because you're single don't mean shit. And just because you're in a relationship don't mean you're happy, man. Look how many... Man, if you really know relationships, like, like if you really keep it real about relationships, you know damn well they they not easy. And you know they're going to go through some shit. They're not... And they're not what uh, people make them out to be where, you know, um, you're going to have this perfect relationship and it's going to be like that for the rest of ever. And no, nah, that's not what's going to happen. However, if you understand that, if you understand that the, your, your relationship, your next relationship or the relationship you're in is not going to be perfect. If you understand that and you accept that, it will ultimately by default be basically almost as perfect as it can get because you'll you'll appreciate the person, you'll still forgive them and shit like that. You know what I mean? Even when you're getting to know somebody, you know, you're not going to be like, oh man, I thought he was going to be perfect. I don't want, I'm out. I don't want to deal with it or her. Nah, nobody's perfect, see? So when you start to see flaws or things like that, you can kind of overlook them or work with them, you know what I'm saying? And they can work with you, vice versa. If y'all both understand that no relationship is perfect, you know what I'm saying? When you do have problems, it's kind of easier to handle and easier to get through with each other versus, oh, I thought a relationship was supposed to be perfect. We had a problem. I'm out. I'm going to go get it somebody else. You know what I mean? Not appreciating the person you with. You know what I mean? Shit like this. But whatever, man. What do I know? I don't know about relationships because, wow, I don't have a relationship, so I don't know. It's just dumb. That's like saying I don't know the, how to feed a fucking baby because I don't have a baby. Come on, get the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> For real. Just being honest, man. Stop letting these people make y'all feel a certain way, man. Even as a woman, because even as a woman, pay attention. Even as a woman, yeah, a man picks you right, marries you. Let's say you're a woman. Why ain't I married yet? I don't get it, right? There's a lot of women right now that are married 
and that man only married them maybe because of looks or whatever. It could have been sex. It could have been something dumb. And that's why the relationship is going to end eventually, right? In the end, it's not going to work out because it wasn't it wasn't based off of the right shit to make it work, right? So all I'm saying to you is, you know, you have basketball players marrying women that that woman didn't deserve to be a wife. She just looked good. Come on, man. Did she earn her looks? No. She was born with it, right? You get what I'm saying? So does that make that woman a better woman than you? Just because that guy happened to like her look. So he was dumb enough to just marry her off of that. And look what happens to them basketball players, right? They get done wrong, right? Or even if it, even if a man marries a woman just off of looks, what does he usually do? Eventually, the looks don't fade, but the, he becomes numb to them looks. And uh, now he's on the fuck. He's fucking other women behind his, her back. Because he only got with her for the infatuation. You know what I mean? But hey. I guess people just don't get this shit, man. I mean, I don't know, man. I just don't. I don't know what what would be wrong with people. I, I, they everybody's smart, man. People are smart. They just don't think or something. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But my point is this: a lot of women are getting married just because of their looks alone. She didn't earn nothing. She just looks good. So by default, she got married. Somebody gave her a ring. And here a lot of other women are crying or, yeah, crying they ain't had a ring yet. And they don't realize that a lot of women who have a ring didn't even earn the ring. She's not qualified as a wife yet. Just because she got a ring from a motherfucker does not qualify her to be a wife. And just because a motherfucker gives somebody a ring doesn't qualify him to be a husband. Think about this. In my younger years, years I was in, I never been married, but I was engaged because I was dumb. Oh, I'm about to marry her. Let me give her an engagement ring. I'm just dumb. You know what I mean? Not knowing no better. Never been married, though, thank God, right? But the point is, like, this is, anybody can do this. Like, people are making it out to be something that is not. You know what I mean? All I know is there's a lot of females that are married that are not qualified. They just look good. So as a woman, I get it. You know, you don't have a ring yet and you have no control over that. The man is the one that's going to ask you to marry him and shit. I get this part, man. As a woman, I get it. But you got to understand, it's a lot of deception with that. A lot of these men, they're not qualified to be husbands yet. Or they, they, they them women that they married are not qualified wives. They just like them or something. I like you a lot, so I'm going to marry you. You know what I mean? In six months, I'm going to marry you because I like you. They didn't build the foundation of marriage in the relationship before they got married. They just got married just because. You know what I mean? Some people just get married because they, they feel left out. You know what I mean? Or a relationship. You know what I mean? A woman's single, right? And she see all her friends getting with people, temporary-ass men, or vice versa if you're a dude, right? And now she want to just, oh, let me find somebody too. Which, of course, she's still going to feel that regardless. Or he, whatever. But the problem is when they just try to rush and do it just because they friends got it. Or my friends are having babies. Let me have one. Well, who the fuck you going to have one by? You got to make sure it's the right person. You know what I'm saying? Shit like this, man. You ain't even in a position to have a baby. But your friends are having one. And all your friends got a, are pregnant. And now you want to get pregnant. Just dumb shit, man. I'm dead sir. And a lot of men have had babies off of that dumb stupidity too. Uh, I just want to be a dad. But you're not a dad yet. But oh, I don't care. I'm going to bust another in there anyway. You know what I mean? A lot of men have. Or I don't want her to leave me. So I'm going to have a kid by her. You know what I mean? That's all I'm saying, man. These titles is bullshit, man. Just like title of boss. Motherfucker be broke as hell, but he a boss. Okay, well, then I don't want to be a boss then if that's the case. You know what I'm saying? Then you can have somebody that works for somebody that has the mindset of the boss. And moves like a boss. And eventually they're going to be a boss because they that was just a stepping stone as a worker. But eventually they're going to become a boss. Because their mindset. You know what I mean? Not their position. Not their title. It's not their title. It's not your title, man. It's not your fucking title.
Okay, my title, black man, right? Right, that's my title, right? But just because that's my title don't mean I live up to that title. I have to live up to that title too, don't I? Yes, I do. So I'm I'm actually glad that I've never been married yet and never been a husband yet. Now I, I now I know more about it to actually succeed at this. You see? Say so even just relationship in general. I know more. The more I'm single, the more I'm gonna learn about it. And the experience helps. So the experience of the past, you know, been in relationships, that's going to help. And now that you, you actually sit back when you're single, you actually sit back and you get time to analyze a lot of shit versus people who are always in a relationship because they feel that they feel that um, it makes them some special person. They don't analyze shit. They just hop in a relationship with somebody else, man. And that's why they don't become the greatest lover they can possibly be. A lot of times, man. They're not taking time to sit back and analyze themselves. You know what I'm saying? Once you start analyzing yourself, you single, you sit back, you analyze yourself. Okay, I could do this better. I could do that better. I did that wrong. I did that wrong. I always spit out phlegm. Don't be swallowing that shit. I've never been sick in like four years since I, any time I got phlegm like that. Especially at this season, this uh, sinus season, spit that shit out, y'all. You won't even get sick. That is you sick right there. That's it. You won't get sick at all. I promise y'all this. Man. I haven't been sick in like four years since I've done that. Every time I seasons, but I used to always get sick. I know it's off topic. You used to always get sick like fall and spring with this runny nose shit and all this shit. I spit that shit out, and it never, it never kicked into. Uh, uh, an effect of sickness you know what i mean it was just like this and that was it that phlegm man that's what be getting the sick man we be keeping that shit in our body once our sinuses start doing that shit i don't know man all i know is a lot of people going to um take this still the same way oh something's wrong with you or him or her because nobody wants them and this and this and this if that's the case, then why why all the popular people, why are they um, married and happy then? Why aren't all of them? Every last popular person should be married and happy. No exceptions. Because everybody wants them so much, right? They're so wanted. So why aren't they happy? Why are they getting cheated on shit? Shit like that. Because at the end of the day, if you don't pick the right person, it don't matter. Though. It don't matter if you're in a relationship. It don't matter if you was the prettiest woman in the world. None of this matters if you pick the wrong person. Or if you don't become... And that's what I want to get back to. When you're single, you have time to analyze yourself. And when you analyze yourself, rights and wrongs, you start to understand rights and wrongs in when you pick a woman or man. And then that's how you're going to pick the right woman or man. Because you're going to become the right woman or man by analyzing yourself. And knowing, learning and knowing right from wrong. And then when you're interacting with somebody to try to get to know them, you're going to know if they're the right woman or man or not. See, a lot of people, they don't have that. They didn't analyze themselves. They, some of them fucking 18 years old. Didn't You didn't analyze yourself at all. You about to get married and have kids and everything. You don't even know who you are yet. See what I'm saying? Then you got some people 40. Never took time to analyze themselves. Yeah, they might be married or something like that, but they're on the verge of divorce. They're not happy. Shit like that. So, it's kind of like underdogs. When you're single, you're an underdog kind of. I mean, it looks like you're losing. But in reality, you're probably not. Probably not losing. It just seems that way. Then it looks like they winning, but in reality, they're probably not. Not every marriage, of course. I'm not even going to say that. That's dumb. But a lot, obviously a lot, look at the divorce rate. Obviously a lot of marriages are not happy. Look at the divorce rate. People marrying people for the wrong shit, man. Wrong reasons. I don't want to be a victim. You know what I'm saying? I take marriage serious. It's a serious thing. So, you know, I pray to God that I do it the right way. You know what I mean? However long that takes. I don't give a fuck if it takes 
30 years. It don't matter to me. God's timing is God's timing. My timing don't mean nothing because I could do it on my time. And in the end, damn near feel like suicidal because you've been with somebody 20 years or something. You know what I mean? And they walk out on you or some shit. Who knows? Then you could do it in God's time and pick the right person. Trusting in God and shit like that. Like God molds you to understand who the right person is and becoming one and all that. And you end up happy. But it took 10 years. Instead of... Instead of... um. 10 months or some shit. You know, y'all get the fuck I'm saying. Motherfuckers meet somebody three months in and talking about I'm in so in love and man, and, and you might be on the way, you might be on the path to that, but come on, man, you're capping. You're capping. Your feelings got you deceived. No way that you could like a person a lot in three months, yeah, but to say that I'm so in love, I, I'm there, I, come on, man. People rushing shit, not analyzing shit. Even if you do, even if y'all both are the right person, you still got to analyze each other to learn how to work with each other. That shit takes time. So even if y'all really like each other that fucking much, you want to get married, you only been with her three months. Still got to take time to analyze each other so you learn how to make this shit work when the bad shit happens, when, when y'all fighting and shit like that. If you don't do that and you just rush and all that, you, it's, it's like you're, you're learning on the job. You're already married now, but now you're learning on the, it's not good. Not good at all. You get married, then y'all move in and all this other shit. Y'all should already be kind of living together for the most part. Not You don't really got to like spending the night like so, so you can kind of see how each other is. You know, how to uh, compromise and shit like that. But people don't want to do this, man. So they want to rush shit, let them rush. No different than a new car. Y'all don't think I don't want that new CT6? Of course I could do it, but it's not right. It's not right. I know, I'll know. i know when it's right. I know when the time is right. It's not the right time. You know, I, I won't have any doubts, you know? But what do a lot of people do? Rush and get new cars and shit? What if I rush and got a CT6, but next year Cadillac finally comes out with the... Uh, the um, convertibles again i would be sick i just bought that and then they dropped the cover i'd be sick that's why i don't rush i feel like um if you trust god like the right car for me will be right there at the perfect time you know what I mean? no need to rush got a lot of people rushing buy cars and things like that and they regret it like damn i should have waited and all this. that's what i'm saying Patience is underrated in this world, man. But I'm not going to keep talking to y'all. Because I definitely got to get in here and take a shower. But patience is definitely overrated. Underrated. Yeah, underrated. Underrated. All right, y'all. I'm out of here, man. Stop letting that shit. Uh, the title don't determine who you are. Remember that. You know, it's just a title. If you, if you think I'm bullshitting, then any of you women watching... Your baby dad or whoever, he has a title, right? He's the dad. That's his title. But does he live up to it? A lot of times, no. Same thing, vice versa. But wait a minute. I thought titles was everything, right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's how y'all see make it seem when it comes to relationships and marriage. Y'all saying the title determines this shit. Don't determine nothing. To me, the way I see it is I need to become a husband material guy, which will ultimately teach me how to understand and recognize a wife material woman before I even getting married see everybody want to get married then they want to become marriage material nah <laughs> that's not the right way to do it you should already be molding yourself to become marriage material so you will recognize it in the woman or vice versa if you're a woman watching right then y'all already married. Y'all already basically married before you even get married. You're already husband and wife material, and you're basically already married before you get married. That's the way it should fucking be. And the same thing I do with a kid. If I ever have a kid, I always sit back and analyze and think about what does a dad do and all them things. And financially, I I keep money and 
Oh, you ain't got no kids. You should buy. Somebody said that the other day. I'm going to say his name, my friend. Inbox me. I just thought about it, bro. You ain't got no kids or anything. You should get a new convertible. Why ain't you got a convertible? You really should on a hater. Because it's deeper than that. It's deeper than just me. I actually think about what if I did have a kid. I need to be prepared for that just in case. If I don't, I don't. But what if I did? I want to be prepared for that in all aspects. Not just money. But that's important too. You know what I'm saying? That's important too. But that's what I'm saying. So as far as me, I'm trying to become a husband and a father just before it even happens so if it does happen you know of course i'm going to learn with experience too experience is the best teacher but i have a great grasp and understanding of what it takes versus i'm just going to party and tell oh shit she's pregnant now i'm going to nah go ahead you do it that way if you want to me i'd rather be prepared and molding myself into that type of person for one that's that's what a man is supposed to be you know, and for two, if it does happen, I'll be ready for it. You know what I'm saying? So, same thing with a boss. Same thing with a boss. Yeah, I'm a worker. Right? But my mentality is already molding into what bosses do. Uh, why would I buy that car? I'd rather um, buy this to make money first, then buy the car. That's boss thinking. I don't have to be a boss to think that. I ain't going to buy that $70,000 car right now. That shit don't pay me. I need to figure out where to put money that pays me. Then I'll get that car. That's boss thinking. I'm not a boss, right? Then you have people who are a boss. They'll go buy a $70,000 car. They'll do the opposite of what I just said. And then, so are they really a boss? Or is it just a title? Things that make you question shit around this motherfucker. Not out of here, y'all.